We're Hacker Twins, and today we're testing our 3D printed airplane. Like and subscribe. Let's get started with the build. Shout out to Overture for sending us Yellow Air PLA. First, we'll salvage the motor and battery from one of those flying orb toys. It has a single cell lithium polymer battery, which is light and has a charge between 3.7 and 4.2 volts. It doesn't get as many cycles as your Power Tools lithium ion batteries, but you have to have something light if you want it to fly. Time to assemble the plane. The prints for the body, wing, and tail are flat, so they easily fit together snug so we don't have to use any glue. The nose cone has a spot for the battery and the motor. It's the heaviest and most complicated part of our build. Our Bamboo Lab Carbon X1 did an awesome job with this propeller hub. The gear on that motor is an 11 tooth drone prop gear, and it's a universal size, but it's also super small. It fits like a charm. We do have to use a dab of hot glue for each of the propellers so it stays inside the hub, and a quick blow test to see if this thing spins nice and even. It doesn't seem to wobble. This is really important because airplanes are all about balance. Time for a test. I plug in the plane and give it a throw. It crashes. Rescue on the way. Let's look at it again but slower. Even a small wind turns the plane and now it's 90 degrees and completely sideways. We'll have to give it an upgrade. My new prototype has winglets. If you've ever sat in the window seat of a passenger airplane, you might have seen winglets. They help fight against the wind and by weakening any vortexes, which will help the plane stay flat. You can also tell the wings are more pointed, like an arrow. It's also attached to the body with an angle. This is called angle of attack. It helps create thrust, so hopefully it stays in the air longer next time I throw it. One last close up before we test this airplane to failure. Well, it stayed flat this time. Let's look at it again from another angle and see what happened. You can tell it actually fights against the wind at the peak here. We'll play it in reverse real slow. It's not flying flat, but it's not turned sideways like it was last time, which means our winglets are working. Here's a throw where it's able to rebalance and completely restabilize itself again. This throw is the farthest it ever went. Overall, we printed it too thick at 1.4 millimeters. It's just way too much weight for it to fly. In the future, we'll make one that's thinner, which means lighter, and we'll also remove the prop from the nose cone, and instead we'll have two motors, one on each wing, which means we'll get twice the thrust. You can kind of tell that it's a little nose heavy and dives down pretty quickly. Comment below with any thoughts or ideas about how we can improve this plane. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hacker Twins, out.